Now, a lot of people have actually asked me about cosmetic dentistry, whether is it good or bad for your teeth. Now, the bad news is, yes, it can be bad for your teeth. Now, the reason why I say that is because when you do cosmetic dentistry, there's definitely some form of tooth shaving, per se. Or sometimes you may end up um, losing tooth because if it's not pre-planned properly in terms of what the end result could be like, um, the doctor or the dentist might end up shaving too much away or and sometimes might end up killing a tooth as well. So that's the bad side of cosmetic dentistry. So pre-planning, if you don't pre-plan it well enough, uh, that could happen. The second thing is, or uh, the second bad side is that if you don't have an experienced person doing the treatment for you and the dentist only knows one way to fix your teeth, that's bad. Because what it means is that that may not be the best solution for you or for your smile. So when it happens, you're only stuck with one solution and it may not be the best one for you and the process is normally, most often, irreversible. So you can't turn back time and reverse the process because most of this is permanent and you can't change things after that. So that's the bad side of cosmetic dentistry. Now, the good news is all this can be done relatively very safe uh, if it's pre-planned properly by the right professional who's got enough experience in doing cosmetic dentistry. So for example, before you even start doing veneers or a smile makeover, be certain that you get a blueprint of a smile design. Because when, when you get a blueprint, you get to see how much tooth is being shaved away or how much uh, tooth needs to be reduced so that you get to know personally what are the risks you're taking before you even embark on a journey. Now, the other good news is that in most cases, if you pre-plan it well enough, sometimes you can actually do prepless veneers. So meaning that we may not even need to touch the teeth at all. We might just do a bit of polishing, a bit of creating a bit of roughness on the tooth and the veneers goes on straight away. And that can happen only if you pre-plan the cases. And of course, not every case is suitable for that. So therefore, when you see a dentist, make sure that you, he knows not just one way to, to make your teeth looking good, meaning he just doesn't do veneers. He does a few other things as well. So that like braces or Invisalign or crowns and veneers. So he has to have a whole range of knowledge in dealing with a cosmetic case. And that way he can pinpoint what's best for you moving forwards. So example, you've got a tooth that's sticking too far out and the dentist only knows how to do veneers. You're going to be cutting a lot of teeth away and that's irreversible. And sometimes that's not the best thing for you. So if it's too far out and it's not at a position where it's viable to do veneers, he or she might then recommend you to bring the teeth back in first before you um, start doing your cosmetic with, with veneers. So now to sum it all up, I mean after discussing the good and the better of cosmetic dentistry, um, what's important is, is for you to understand um, the dentist that you're seeing has to be well equipped and versatile in what he or she can do. Now if the dent your dentist doesn't have the right skills or tools, be certain that they can refer you to see someone who's got the right set of skills to help you with your smile design. So um, I'm hoping that this video has helped you in making the right decision for your smile in the teeth. Well, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and you've gained some useful information out of it as well. Now, I'll be putting up new videos every single week. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, remember to click subscribe on the button and I'll see you in the next video.